recently, I feel as if the new wave of British YouTubers coming through are all commentary channels. There seems to have been an explosion in the last year of channels blowing up, basically doing that, coming mm. for bigger YouTubers, slating them, bringing them down. Well, I mean, iNabba featured in uh, Shane Dawson's series recently. Yeah. I was shocked to see him there. I don't know if I should be offended by that, complimented by that, or just in general upset that I've been criticised on the internet and you know, you, you can never have that. Hello everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to be responding to a video which is pretty much direct criticism as you just saw. It's a video from Marcus Butler and his friend Matt. Now basically Marcus Butler is a popular British YouTuber who you have most likely heard of. He's friends with a lot of people I have personally spoken about in the past such as Casper Lee, Alfie Day, Zoella, all of them lot. And and he runs this podcast where they speak about certain topics every week and this week it kind of reversed on me because it wasn't me talking about them, it was actually the British YouTubers talking about the dreaded commentary channels. And I know I just said British YouTubers like I'm not British myself, but I feel like at this point commentary channels are kind of treated like a sub form of human because we're not really in the best books of a lot of YouTubers, as you can imagine why. And now with this podcast, I'm not going to be bitter, I'm not going to be calling Marcus Butler horrible names, but I'm not going to lie, I didn't like what him and his friend had to say in this podcast. And it's not because they're going out and insulting my friends and they're being really nasty, it's more of a case a lot of the things they had to say in this podcast come off as extremely hypocritical. And I feel like I have the right to respond to this podcast purely because I think it's aimed at people like me, Jack Mate, Angelica Oles, I'm Alex, Kavos, and I think there's proof in that because my name is actually in the tags of the video. Now the whole gist of this podcast is pretty much them saying that I and other content creators who run commentary channels are bullying the likes of Zoella, Alfie Days, and other content creators that they personally know. So without further ado, I'm going to respond to my personal favourite parts of this podcast. What's your experience with like commentary channels? When did you first start kind of watching them and realising, wow, this is a thing, you can do this? One of my, I don't know if it's a commentary channel, but like, would you say Cody Co is a commentary channel? It's, I say they're more like reaction channels because they're more entertainment where they're making these jokes and things. Yeah. It's not as personal. Yeah, see... <laughs> If you're going to put Cody Co in that realm of with H3, mm. of early H3 videos anyway, I really find them entertaining yeah. because I think they're hilarious. The jokes that they usually make are funny. Yeah, the people who are just making the content coming for YouTubers is like, I don't know, it's a weird one. It's, it's a very fine line, isn't it? It's a very fine line because... It's kind of a form of bullying. Now, Cody Cole is somebody that, at this point, I think most people in the YouTube sphere kind of know about. He's a comedy-related channel who runs it with Noel Miller, and I think the duo are pretty much hilarious, but it's not like these two people don't speak about other YouTubers. When you go and look at their top-viewed videos, there are a lot of videos pretty much mocking other YouTubers. Cody Co has made two videos on Girl Defined, Instagram comedians, Jake Paul, plenty of Lele Pons videos, and I don't think that's bad at all. I'm not saying these videos are wrong, because these videos are funny, they're there for entertaining content. My problem actually lies with Marcus Butler, because he's saying that Cody Cole doesn't bully anyone, but then channels like mine, Angelica's, Kavos's, Jackmates actually are bullying channels, and I really don't get that, because all these channels do take the piss out of a lot of YouTubers, but why do these specific channels like Cody Co get away with it and channels like mine don't? Now it's pretty obvious to me why Cody Co in Marcus Butler's eyes isn't a bully. It's because he doesn't necessarily make videos talking about British YouTubers, whereas I talk about a lot of Marcus Butler's friends, so he's obviously took more personal offence to that than a regular YouTube viewer would. Now I'm not going to lie, I can understand why he takes more personal offence than an average YouTube viewer, because I am pretty much taking the piss out of his friends on a frequent basis, so he's naturally going to get more upset than you guys were, because he knows these people personally, so that's understandable, but I don't think you can just go out and say, well you're you're a bully because you're talking about my friend. You can say, well, I don't really find this video that funny. I, I don't think Zoella's candor was a scam. And I can completely be fine with that because, mate, that's your opinion. And I completely respect that. That's your opinion. You don't believe Zoella is a scammer, someone manipulative. That's fair enough, mate. That's completely fair enough. But I don't think you have the right to call channels like mine, Kavos, Angelica, Jackmate, 
bullies because I know most of these people and they're not bullies. And it does come off as quite hypocritical because you're criticizing me for talking about your friends, but then you're coming and criticizing some of my friends and I'm not calling you a bully, but I just think your logic is flawed here. I don't think any of us are bullies. I think we're all just people with loud opinions and we want to get them out there. I think it's just extremely hypocritical that you say, Cody Ko isn't a bully, but Jack Mate could be considered bullying Zoella at some points. It's just, what, what are you talking about, mate? Are, are, are you understanding what you're saying? Now, people may go on to say, well, how do you know he's directly talking about Zoella in these situations? Well, let me just play this clip. Probably people who maybe used to be fans of them growing up, watching them when they're younger. Now they're older and they, like, for whatever reason, decide their content shit or just have a personal thing with them or they just want to use people's names for views because... It, it works, doesn't it? Using people's names for views does work in yeah, that I mean, respect. we know that, don't we? Yeah. But of course, if someone's going, why Zoella is not friends with a sprinkle of glitter? It's like, you're going to get views doing that. Now, I can appreciate the fact that if I make a video on Zoella, it is going to get considerably more views than an average video of mine would. And that's because it's Zoella. She's a talking point and a lot of people like to hear what others have to say about her. But again, I don't believe this is a valid reason to call commentary channels bullies for making videos on your friends. I don't think you actually understand the definition of a bully. So I'm just going to quickly give you the actual dictionary definition of a bully. The definition of bullying is using superior strength or influence to intimidate, typically to force somebody into doing something. And honestly, I don't believe that I have any form of superior strength over Zoella or Alfie Days, not on a physical aspect, but on an influential based aspect. They clearly have a bigger audience than me. They clearly have more people watching them than people that watch me. So I really don't think I'm using my own influence to intimidate them. I'm just simply criticizing them and and having a laugh. And honestly, throughout the year of 2018, I genuinely believe that I've actually been quite nice to Zoella, Alfie Days, Casper Lee. I don't think I've really disrespected them that much. The only time I've ever really said something nasty is when I said Zoella is scummy in the whole Advent kind of fiasco. And I've taken that back in multiple videos. I've apologized for that. So I really don't think I'm on any lines bullying these people. For example, with Zoella's latest scandal with her new book, I actually said I didn't agree with some of my friends like Angelica and Jack May. I didn't think that her book was a scam and I actually made a video defending Zoella and saying pretty much everyone goes overboard about YouTuber merch. But did Angelica come out and say that I was bullying her for the video I made saying that I don't believe what she said was exactly right? No, she didn't because it was criticism. We're both YouTubers and we're open to being critiqued just like you guys are pretty much critiquing me now and I would have pretty much accepted it and not responded if you didn't say that commentary channels are bullying people. In fact, the clip I'm now about to play is honestly the worst thing I've said to Zoella all year and I don't think it's that bad. And I know a lot of people watching this video do just want me to go in on Zoella's content and pretty much roast it, but genuinely guys, I, I don't actually think her content is bad. I think it's harmless. I don't really think she's doing a bad job of it whatsoever. She's catering to her audience with the content and necessarily it isn't that bad. All my problems with her and a lot of other people's problems just comes from the shady stuff that she's actually done. As long as Zoella is vlogging and not driving at the same time or not lying or not manipulating, I haven't necessarily got a problem with her. But sadly, she's done all these things. And I can actually see the appeal to Zoella's content. I can see why a lot of people out there do watch it. Instead of worrying about your ego and worrying about what people are saying when you have genuinely fucked up, how about just learn to apologize, Zoella? I don't believe necessarily that Zoella is a malicious person. I don't think she's a bad person whatsoever. And I stick by what I said in that video. I don't believe that Zoella is the Ganondorf of YouTube. I believe that she's slightly out of touch. She's been idiotic in a lot of situations. I believe that her advent calendar was ridiculously overpriced, but I don't think that makes her evil. And I don't think that makes me harmful. I don't think that makes me a bully. If anything, by dictionary definition, I could argue that Marcus Butler is actually bullying me because he has a significant influence. And I could say that he's trying to intimidate me, but I know he's not. And I know he's just a little bit annoyed. What we need to figure out, what is the appeal of these channels and when does it go from being entertainment to bullying? Like what's the area of it? How do you determine? It's a tough one because they can be funny. I think, look, if you take yourself too seriously as a creator and you can't have or deal with someone saying some of those things or making lighthearted jokes, it's like, that's your own thing. But 
it is a fine line, isn't it? Between someone being like trying to be funny and making fun of someone's content and just being a bit of a bitter twat about it. Now, the thing is with this statement is I don't actually care about Zoella's content. And I think that might surprise a lot of people, but honestly, I've done nothing but compliment her for her content. I've just said that I don't think it's bad. I think she's just catering to a certain audience that followed her for a very long time. And I think that's fine. But the thing is, 99% of the people that criticize Zoella also don't care about her content. The thing we're all grouping together <laughs> to criticize Zoella for is her scandals. Now with directly criticizing content, I've genuinely never been that big of a fan of doing that and I don't do it on regular occasions. It's not like I just go and say, oh, Jake Paul makes shit videos. I don't do that. I question people's morals and their practices and the things they do in their videos, not the things which is entertaining, but when they are advertising their merchandise around 20 times a video using pretty much brainwashing techniques which they've openly admitted to doing which is Jake Paul's practice and that's why me and Nerd City had a problem with Jake Paul. When it comes to Zoella I don't have a problem that she's doing cooking videos, makeup videos. I have a problem with some of the things she's done in the past like having a ghost written book and selling it like it's her own work. With Alfie Days I had a problem with the fact that he pretty much made being poor into a game. Now with the comment of being bitter I think that's a bit ironic and a bit hypocritical mainly because you've just done a 16 minute long podcast complaining about other people that complain about people. It's just a little bit of a weird mix there. Now I fully appreciate a lot of content creators, especially commentators out there, are much more harsh than me. I used to be extremely harsh on people, but I've really changed my mentality on a lot of things in the last few months. And I accept that Kavos and Angelica are way more harsh than I am. But if you think that these guys are bullies for some of the stuff they say, I really don't think you've experienced life that much. If anything, I think you're just out of the regular loop on life because if somebody saying that your mate is an idiot for releasing a 50 pound can that is a bully to you then I think you really need to leave the house you really just need to get away from YouTube for a few weeks what I think and even Jack mate to a certain degree like he blew up obviously from his Zoella video and he's always been a controversial character on YouTube my personal opinion on sometimes I think he's hilarious I think he's really funny sometimes genuinely and then other times it's like it sometimes seems he's coming across a bit bitter on some things I feel as if with Jack, mate, yeah, like you say, really funny. Yeah. Like, it seems naturally funny. Naturally funny. And you can write jokes and stuff. And he's great when there's a uh, social injustice. So I remember he did a video recently about uh, foreigners in Britain. Mm. And it was basically taking down all the racists and making them look, you know, as ridiculous as their views are. Yeah. I loved it. I thought, oh, this is so funny. Yeah. And the person, the subject deserved this. I was like, great. I'm glad someone said that. Whereas when he's coming for YouTubers who have released merch, he doesn't think it's good enough. I'm like, it just feels as if you're doing it because it's a slow news week. Mm. Honestly, how this seems to me is that you like it when Jackmate mocks other people, but you don't like it when he takes the piss out of one of your friends. The thing is with Jackmate, I think there are times where he just likes having a laugh and taking the piss. I would say that his channel is 50% satirical and 50% serious, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's pretty much following the roots of Ricky Gervais, who he's friends with, and I can respect that. The guy is funny, and I don't think you can really compare Jack to a channel like mine or a channel Kind of like Kavos is. With me personally on this channel, I don't necessarily joke around as much as Jack does. I take things more serious. I throw in jokes here and there, but honestly, I like coming at arguments nowadays from two different perspectives, like I did with Zoella's book. Now with the whole slow news day comment, I can understand that to a certain extent. A lot of people have gone over the top about Zoella in the past, but I don't think she's helped herself with ghost written books and lying about boots setting prices on her old advert calendar. They're yeah their money from things like merch sure if they've got that fan base but but i thought it's it's awful to sell merch to young kids that's what i keep hearing and then i go on their pages and there's plenty of it so i don't understand that <sighs> well <laughs> that's the well, question you can ask them when they're on now honestly when it comes to bigger content creators with people more than 10,000 subs I highly recommend making a merchandise line and that's mainly because YouTube for a lot of people is the thing that pays the bills for a lot of people it is a business all I would say was try and not make your designs terrible and when it comes to manipulating child audiences into buying merchandise 
I think that's only a very unique thing that happens on the platform with people like Jake Paul, as I said before, who pretty much use brainwashing techniques into getting their young, impressionable audience into buying things. I don't think that is exactly a moral thing to do, but if you say at the start of my video, hey guys, I released new merch, go check it out. That's fine, why would that not be fine? Now the final point that I want to touch on here is when they complain about commentators' videos going a bit too personal. You know, we've done it in a way where we've made fun of people's videos before, we've made fun of Robin Birrell's videos, we've made fun of that weird kissing guy who is a complete weirdo. <laughs> so like we have kind of touched on it, where we've touched on it, we've, we're more coming for people's content rather than directly coming for that person even though that kissing guy is a weirdo like <laughs> no i see what you're saying though. there's the point to it where it's like the, the subject that's being talked about mm. deserves or not even how do you decide what deserves anything yeah i think there's a difference between coming for someone's content and coming for the person individually mm. because as we said time and time again a youtuber is their brand so it's like if you want to slate a product you want to slate whatever that's fine that is completely yeah that's a good point got no, no human emotions really behind it when when you're slating someone someone's content that could be seen as that element but as soon as you kind of push it onto the individual and it's just a, that's i think where it's like you're over the line i just don't get it i i, I really don't get it you called somebody a weirdo kissing guy who's is a complete weirdo. No, that kissing guy is a weirdo. And then like 20 seconds later, you complained about people like me talking about other people. As soon as you kind of push it onto the individual and it's just, a, that's I think where it's like, you're over the line. Kissing guy who's, is a complete weirdo. I mean, where's the logic, man? You're just so hypocritical. Every statement, nearly every statement in this video has just been full of hypocrisy. Now, I fully appreciate that this isn't a Marcus Butler video. This is a Marcus Butler podcast. I can understand that because podcasts are more spontaneous and it will lead to you saying dumb things like that. Honestly, I don't really see a problem in getting that personal when it comes to YouTube videos. With Alfie Days, I think it was fine to criticize his actions of where he pretty much made being poor into a game, as I said before. With Zoella, for example, most of the criticism comes from the products she sold. So I really just don't get your point here, especially with the fact that you called somebody a weirdo before making it. Kissing guy who's is a complete weirdo. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a problem to call somebody a weirdo, but I think it's a problem when you're going to call other people out for criticizing others and then say that. Yeah, with the people doing only that as well, I sometimes feel there's maybe an element of, I'm better than this person. Like, if you're constantly belittling other people, yeah, you put yourself are, on you the pedestal, then, don't you? are you then up there? Which is, it's hard because I don't want to generalize the whole, because I think there's, a lot of people who do it very well but yeah. i just think across the board it is a it's a dangerous spectrum where you're yeah. gonna fall on it now i'm not gonna lie here people i can understand what they're saying here because i do actually know a lot of content creators out there that do pretty much appear to love themselves with me i don't think i'm better than people i think i'm an average human being who has made plenty of mistakes in the past i don't think that i'm better than alfie days i don't think i'm better than zoella because at the end of the day I don't know these people. I, I don't know these people personally. I've never spoken to them. So I really can't judge their personal character. But I do think it is fair for any content creator to criticize anyone on YouTube. Because at the end of the day, you are presenting yourself on the biggest public forum in human history. And I think you should always be open for criticism if you're willing to do that. Now to conclude this video, I think that this episode on their podcast was pretty much Marcus Butler and his friend giving this big defense of Zoella. And I think that's pretty obvious considering most of the people they name dropped have got really big videos on Zoella. With Marcus, I never had a problem with the guy before this and I still really don't. I just think the guy is a bit hypocritical and I think he is slightly out of touch when it comes to the YouTube community. I think that these British vloggers who were in their prime era in 2014 really kind of need to wake up and smell the coffee and realize that criticism is becoming a bigger thing on the internet, not just on YouTube, but on Twitter and Instagram. These things I think are good, it helps people grow, and yes, people do reach, but I don't think that makes them bullies. There definitely are bullies on YouTube, but the people they're calling out for the reasons they are, they're not bullies. They're just people that are calling out people on their bullshit and you need to get that into your head. 
I don't think you're a bad bloke, Marcus, and I would love to have a chat with you about this, but really, I think you've gone about this the wrong way. Now that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you agree with what I had to say, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let's try and hit a like goal of say 5,000 likes and big shout out to Dubs. They won the last, I guess, shout out competition where you can go follow me, comment on my last photo on Instagram and like it. And I will give you a mini shout out in my next video. Don't forget to go and follow me on Twitter at iNeverTV. And before I go and end this video, I am gonna thank my lovely, lovely Patreons. Big thanks to Angelique, Arasta, Isia, Anna, Alex, Bones, Brianna, Bugabacha, Clarissa, Cubes, and Dingy Dino, Dana, Elle, Ella, Emily, Evelyn, Henry, Hannah, Anochi, Jay, Jessica, Joe, Jillian, Jordan, Joanna, Lisa, Majestic, Michaela, Maya, Mary, Mel, Meredith, Michelle, Michael, Neve, Nicole, Olivia, O'Reilly, Quinn, Ramita, Rockstar, Bruce Bros, Riley, Sadie, Sandra, Scrubby, Celestina, Speedy Bird, Tails Hunter, Tonji, Christian, Zero Fives, In My Shoes, and Jade. Big thanks to Plunger the Patreon. You guys are absolute heroes, as I always say. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, people.